everyone, this is Dr. Zhong. Recently, there has been debates about the so-called O14 in our academic community in Taiwan. Personally, I think that's good because with complete discussions, we all get to learn. However, sometimes I realize that many people don't seem to really understand what Professor Malo's true idea about O14. There are many misconceptions. Whether you are pro O14 or you are against it. It's better to really understand the concept. Make sure we are speaking the same language. Then we can have a fair discussion to clarify misunderstandings, to justify the pros and cons of this concept. That's why I made this video. As you can see here, our title for today is Malo Clinic Protocol for Total Edentures Rehabilitation. Actually, this is where misconception starts. Many people think that a Malochnic protocol is an O14 protocol. It's not. I'll explain in a minute. But for now, let's just pretend we already know they are different. So, what is Malochnic protocol for total edentious rehabilitation? Okay, there you go. There are two major parts of Malochnic protocol. One is Malochnic Surgical Protocol, and the other one is Malochnic Bridge Protocol. These two protocols carry their own context. Malochnic Surgical Protocol defines how we place implants into edentious ridges for future prosthetic construction. Malochnic Bridge Protocol stresses on the concept about how we do fixed ridges on those implants. They are obviously very different. Again. Some people think that Marlow Clinic Surgical Protocol is the O14 protocol. Uh, it's close, but still, they are not equivalent. There is something more in Marlow Clinic Surgical Protocol. Let's start with Marlow Clinic Surgical Protocol. Underneath it, we have this O14 Surgical Protocol, and uh, then we also have the placing of six straight implants option. This is where the misconception is. People always thought that in Marlow Clinic, they only put four implants for every case. But reality is, if you have enough bone and your patient has sufficient budget, then you should just go ahead and put six parallel implants. It's less technique sensitive and you eliminate the cantilever to reduce complications. The thing is, 80% of the patients who show up in our clinic do not have enough bone. Sometimes it's hard enough to find bone for four implants, that along six implants. That's why many people seem to misinterpret O14 surgical protocol as Marlow Clinic surgical protocol, or even the whole picture of Marlow Clinic protocol. Now, let's get back to the O14 surgical protocol. Under this protocol, it gives you guidelines under what conditions to place certain types of implants at specific locations. You can refer to the article published in 2011 EJOI by Malo. I will just let you do your homework. Now let's get to the other major part of Malo Clinic Protocol, which is the Malo Clinic Bridge Protocol. This protocol originally came from the idea that whenever a tooth is extracted, the internal papilla will be gone forever, especially when multiple teeth are missing combined with bone loss. Our job as a clinician will be to restore teeth and soft tissue as a whole. Otherwise, we will end up with dentures with both very long teeth and the missing internal papilla. Let's say we have a case like this, and she had this unbearable smile, which obviously did not look good. In order to create a smile like this with full interdental papilla at place, the only predictable way is to cut bone, create space for artificial gingiva. Otherwise, it will be very difficult to do. Well, unless you are the world's top few periodontists and given a year or two with multiple surgeries. But still, it won't be perfect and predictable. Marlow Clinic Bridge Protocol is better in terms of predictability for aesthetic smile creation. 
Of course, there are other characteristics of monoclinic bridge protocol, which, such as the bridge is always in one piece. It's screw retained, and it can be titanium framework inside, or it can be full acrylic. Okay, this is the whole picture of monoclinic protocol for total edentures rehabilitation. Now, since this is not too complicated to understand, why do so many people still think that Marlow Clinic protocol is the O14 protocol? Partly it's because of the marketing strategy of a Noble Biocare, since O14 is a trademark belonging to Noble Biocare. So Noble Biocare packaged the whole thing into this O14 treatment concept, which entails several features such as place only four implants, use multi-unit abutments, and the possibility of a one-day temporal bridge, followed by final hybrid bridge. Professor Marlow consistently states that Marlow Clinic protocol is not all on full protocol. It actually contains more, like placing six pedal implants, Likewise, cutting bone is not part of O14 surgical protocol. It actually comes from the need to create space for Marlow-Clinic bridge. These two, Marlow-Clinic surgical protocol and the Marlow-Clinic bridge protocol, as I have mentioned, they are very different concepts. Here are some of the clinical scenarios we face during our everyday practice. Without this treatment concept, I really have no idea how I'm gonna treat these patients with ease. I personally think, with my limited experience compared to Professor Marlow's teams, all on four treatment concept or Marlow Clinic protocol is without a doubt a great innovation for total edentures rehabilitation. You see, things are not always perfect. Sometimes things go wrong or people may abuse techniques and produce problems. That's not the technique itself to be blamed, but the people who use it. It's not fair to disparage this treatment concept, as I have heard from someone who slandered it as all on fail, all on floor, or all on fall. I personally think that's not a good way to say it. If you are rejecting this technique due to misunderstandings, that's a great loss. I hope you found this video useful. Until next time, this is Dr. Chong. Thank you.